Hello everybody and welcome to Ancient Architects. Please subscribe now to get the latest ancient history news and independent research from around the world. A new study into the ancient human remains of a man buried in the 5,200 year old New Grange structure in Ireland have shown that he was the product of incest. Experts extracted DNA from his remains and discovered it displayed a large number of identical versions of the same genes. The individual's mother and father were either brother and sister or parent and child, and this fantastic find has been published in the journal Nature by Laura Cassidy and Daniel Bradley. New Grange is of course one of the most incredible ancient structures in all of Europe, and so the person buried inside was obviously of huge importance to Ireland. Experts believe he was one of the ruling elites, and so they therefore suggest that the ruling families of ancient Ireland interbred. These people wielded enough power to direct big building projects among the early simple farming communities of the Neolithic. Newgrange Passage Tomb is an earthen mound covering an immense area of 4,000 square metres, and it is located near the River Boyne. It is 85 metres, or 279 feet in diameter, and 13 metres, or 43 feet in height. Huge amounts of planning and labour would have been undertaken in its construction, and it shows that more than 5,000 years ago, when Ireland was an agricultural society, there were clear signs of social organisation. Usually, such organisation is only seen when there is a king or ruling elite. Newgrange has an opening that leads to a 19 metre long stone lined passage, which allows sunlight to reach deep into the chamber inside the mound. This only happens on the shortest day of the year, the winter solstice, and therefore experts suggest that Newgrange held astronomical, astrological and religious significance. There are huge numbers of local legends associated with Newgrange, including it had visitations by the Queen of the Fairies, magicians, ancient gods and long forgotten kings. It may have been built to mark a new year in dramatic fashion, perhaps whilst winter solstice ceremonies were taking place in the local community or even perhaps nationwide. The two geneticists, Cassidy and Bradley, studied DNA from 44 individuals buried in ancient Irish tombs and graves, dating to between 6,600 and 4,500 years ago. In their study they discovered the earliest known definitive case in the world for a case of Down syndrome, dated to 3,629 to 3,371 BC. This was an infant boy who was buried at Paul Nebrone portal tomb. But in the study, the experts found that only the Newgrange man, who was of course laid to rest inside the most impressive structure in Ireland, had inherited genetic markers of incest. As the article on sciencenews.org says, socially sanctioned incest tends to be rare throughout history, but is known from instances of royal inbreeding. We know that even in the modern era, royal families do interbreed, although not in the same close way as our Neolithic ancestors. In those days, mating brothers and sisters does seem to have been commonplace in royal families, and this is especially seen in the royal families of Egypt. In Egypt, kings were seen as gods, and therefore they were not subject to the human taboo of incest. But, as we know, with incest can come human deformity, and we know that Tutankhamun had a huge number of health problems. These could well have been because of his parents' close genes. What this new study shows is that like ancient Egypt, the ancient Irish rulers of the 4th millennium BC did interbreed, brothers and sisters or parents and children, implying they wished to create a dynastic elite ruling class above the masses. This is a very interesting discovery, and for me who has a strong personal interest in ancient Britain and Ireland, the new discovery at Newgrange gives me a fantastic new line of study. Thank you very much for watching this news update from Ancient Architects. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the channel, please like the video, and please leave a comment below. Thank you very much.